Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and good evening. My name is Iza Tumusna. I'm from School of Technology Management and Logistics, University Utara Malaysia, Sintu Kedah. So my paper title today is Gig Economies in Logistic Industry on Malaysia's Perspective. It is an overview. Alright, so gig economy is a uh, free market system where organizations contract with independent workers for a short term project or service engagement. However, in Malaysia, there is some issues where gig economy is treated as a spread silo of the economy, with its workers facing many social and economic advisories and often being exploited by the platform providers. Some issues where the workers are expressing an increased demand on autonomous and flexible work time with the advance of a digital freelance marketplaces, high speed internet and high power mobile computing tools, this will encourage more freelancers to be attainable than ever. This is particularly evident among youth signaling a generational shift towards greater freedom and entrepreneurship. Researching education system is a must for us to comply with the recent work system. So the objective of this paper, we want to review on the raising of key economic trends for key logistics in Malaysia's perspective. The method where we use a qualitative approach using document analysis, a literature review with an analysis of related works, and the keyword that we use is key economics, logistic gig, and Malaysia gig. As a result and finding, we know that generally the gig economy has helped to improve Malaysia's GDP as it has in a way or another helped individuals to secure additional income or act as an employment opportunity to some who could have been entirely jobless. And we can see that on the surface, the key economy seems to be dominated by e-hailing and startups business. The rise of the key economies over the past decade can be attributed to the confluence of two major trends. First, the participation of young job seekers who try to gain experience before entering the real work world and secondly, the increasing spread, spread of digital connectivity. We can see in the figure where the number of e-hailing services users in Malaysia is increasing, so it's expected that the demand is increases, increase, which will make the supply will also increase. And in Malaysia, according to the World Bank data, about 26% of the Malaysian workforce are freelancers and the number is growing as more people are opting for more flexible working hours. Logistic gig can be e-hailing, warehouse, agent forwarders, consultant and any other services that relate with the log logistic business, such as Hiring skilled workers to provide flexibility for work schedules and allows the warehouse manager to only hire for what they need. Flexible workforce management reduces overall cost to the customer and allow the 3PL company to offer its skilled workers more competitive hourly wages. For that reason, warehouse and fulfillment job are extremely popular gigs on most job hunting platform. Not only that, gig workers in the logistic industry are often hired for a certain expertise or for seasonal availability. This these um, specialty workers can offer their services for a well-defined scope of work, such as warehouse management, 
procurements and so on that relate to the logistic activities. In a malicious employees uh, provident fund EPF or KWSP reported that the key economics workforce in Malaysia grown by 20, uh, 31% in 2017 surpassing the growth in the conventional workforce okay so by 2019 26% of the total 15.3 million Malaysian workforce form part of the growing gig economies as reported by the World Bank although this statistic is doubtful based on the definition However, we can see the increase and our government uh, come up with ISRAN incentive for the housewife and also for a gig worker. On the bright side, uh, Malaysia has some definite figures on gig workers and crowd workers. In terms of transportation and delivery services, there are currently about 90,000 drivers and about 200,000 drivers across 46 e hailing companies such as Grab, uh, MyTaxi, Uber and others. Moreover, there are nearly 15,000 trained digital workers under Malaysia's Digital Economics Corpor Corporation. Um, flagship platforms e Rizuki and the global online workforce in the same year. So this statistic have clearly supported the argument that the key economy is on a maturity rise but its contribution to our economy. Hence the key economy should not be conceived as a separate silo in the Malaysian economy. We can see that it is expect, expected by 2025 that the key economy will contribute to 2.7 trillion USD for the global economy. However, there are some issues that we have future outlook on the key logistics in Malaysia based on articles, which is we must look further on the services provided by the gig worker such as um, are they delivering the goods passenger or is it okay for the grab a car also deliver the food and also the quality of the services provided by the gig workers and second about the income or the financial health of the gig worker yes currently our government work on so so and epf for the gig worker but it's still in the progress raising awareness for the gig workers to join the so so and epf and then the issues is on the safety of the consumer and also the goods and then how you want to complement how you want to make sure that the gig logistic worker can complement the public transportation and last but not least how we want to make the gig logistic worker able to match with the several initiatives launched by the government or the government development in the future so with the increased number of the gig workers there is several issues that we must look to to make sure that this platform or, the, or this kind of uh, working way may, uh, may become better for the future and benefit us and also the country. So that's all from me. Thank you very much.